Hey guys, it's Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over a strategy that I personally use and that's helped me become profitable. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video all the way to the end and subscribe for more videos just like this one where I post educational content on trading futures and how to become a profitable trader because that's what I always wanted when I started trading just four years ago. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. This is a supply and demand strategy, meaning that what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna list out and mark up some levels on the higher time frames, like the daily or the weekly or the four hour. Uh, for right now, we're trading NASDAQ. Um, you can trade ES or NASDAQ. We're gonna mark it up on NASDAQ and just go through the strategy. So what we wanna do is we want to look on the chart and see where were the most touches. So let's just go to a horizontal line and let's go into replay mode and let's start off um, about a month ago. And just looking at the chart right now, we wanna see, okay, where were the most touches in recent history, say in the past uh, six months, and that's going to be where we see levels where price is likely to react off of and reverse. So clearly we can see one here, right? One touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, nine, five, six, but seven touches on the daily, right? Here's another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine touches, right? You know, this is, these are most likely about my most uh, the strongest levels, I'm gonna drag this up a bit. Yeah, these are the strongest levels because they've been touched the most. And then uh, of course the top one up here, uh, here, here, touch there, touch there, touch there, almost touch there. But those are the key levels right, right here. I would just put it down a bit so it touches those wicks at least. And uh, that would be another level, 17,300. And then uh, if we were to do one more, it would be here at 17,700. Okay, so these are our levels. And if you don't understand this, just leave a comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram. And uh, my Instagram is just my full name. So you can reach out to me there, ask questions about this, but this is, a, this is how you set levels using supply and demand on the daily. So we're only gonna go off the daily and then we're gonna trade our entries off the five minute. So what now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see and wait for price to trade into one of these levels and then show us signs of reversing. And if it does show us signs of reversing, we're gonna get in a trade and uh, use a two to one risk reward ratio. So on the five minute, we might do like a, you know, a 60 point TP, 30 point stop, or 80 point TP, 40 point stop. So let's go to um, Thursday, the next day, which is Thursday, Thursday, March 21st. All right, perfect, 9 a.m. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you go over to the news, forexfactory.com, forexfactory.com and go to the date. That date would be the uh, Thursday the 21st and we're gonna watch for news. So we don't wanna take entries. If there's news coming up, we're gonna wait for the news to pass. Okay, so Thursday, March 21st, there's 9.45 news and 10 a.m. news. Uh, 10 a.m. news is orange, so we could get in um, before 10 a.m., but definitely waiting until after 9.45 candle uh, closes on the five minute. So now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead to, we're gonna skip all the way to 9.45 because we don't care about any of this. All right, so this will likely be no trade because what we want is we want price to come down to a level, bounce and show a higher low bullish uh, engulfing candle. And that's how we're gonna enter. Okay, so we're coming down, <clears throat> coming down um, no, we're too far from this level, so we're we're not going to take any trade, and we're going to classify this as a no trade day. Okay, no trade day because we're only going to trade 9:30 to uh, 12, right? So that day is no trade day, and remember, no trade days. Nothing wrong with no trade days. Uh, not trading is better than losing money, right? So if you want a strategy, part of the strategy is being very disciplined and sticking to your rules, meaning not taking an entry when your rules and everything doesn't align, right? Because the reason why you have the strategy is because it's profitable. And it has it, it's only profitable if you're restricted in some way. So now we're at Friday, we are at this support now, 550. I know it looks like, look, looks like we're below, but um, this is a support level. We fell down to it, you know, if we can kind of show a pullback and then a push up again, then we could look to take a long. So now we're gonna go look at the news again. If we take a look here, Friday the 22nd, there is a 
Jerome Powell speaking at nine, but that's constant, so we can't get around that. Basically, we want to look for, let's say, on the open, uh, a pullback and then a higher low bullish engulfing for us to long. Okay, so there's a pullback, 925, right? 930, there's the open. Uh, if we get a sell off and then like a bullish engulfing, nope, nope. Uh, okay, boom. So on this candle close, we take the long 40 point stop. Um, yeah, we'll just do 40 point stop, 80 point TP. I I personally take a partial at one R always, and then I move my stop to break even. So we'll see how this plays out. And again, the reasoning behind this is because we sold off to a level, right? This is a, this is a level. So we're treating this as a support. Meaning that anytime we come down to this, we're likely to reverse to the upside. But we want to wait for the signal to confirm that we're reversing to the upside. So we came down, pushed up uh, pre-market, uh, sold off, and then uh, had another engulfing. So the higher low engulfing, to me personally, is the earliest sign of a potential market structure shift to push to the upside. The you know more confirmation we're waiting for the the uh, higher high and higher low. We didn't get the higher high, so this is an early, you call it riskier, but you know better risk reward ratio if it does work out, uh, trade. So two to one R, 40 points stop, 80 point TP, we're just gonna see what happens. Okay. Okay. We went up how many points first? 30 points, so we went up 30 points, and then we almost got stopped out. And there you go. Hits the TP, 80 points. So that is one 80 point trade. And let's just review this and see why did this work, right? I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I had no idea what was gonna happen. I just knew I followed my system. And the system is set out the daily higher time frame support and resistance levels. When price trades into a resistance level, you wanna look for a lower high bearish engulfing to short down with a two to one risk reward ratio. And uh, if you're looking for longs, when, when price trades down to a level, then if there is a higher low bullish engulfing candle close on the five minute, enter long as long as it's within our time entry guidelines. And you know, you're know you looking at news, right? These are the minor de uh, details, like making sure you're not getting in before news, right? Um, and we just followed that system and um, that was plus 80 points. So that's why that trade worked out there. And of course, you know, it could be you know, this, this, this strategy is like a 60% win rate, right? But 60% win rate at a two to one risk score ratio is amazing. It's very good, very profitable. So 80 points there, let's just do the math real quickly. If you if you have 80 points times 20 po per point, that's a plus 1600. Plus 1600 if you trade one contract and uh, if you have one account, right? I personally trade uh, 12 PAs and my personal account. So a trade like this for me could be the 1600 times 12. This is if I don't trade my personal account and if I don't use bigger size, but you know, 1600 times 12 equals plus 19.2 K USD. So one trade um, could be plus 19 K uh, if you trade with prop firms. That's why I highly suggest you use prop firms, uh, especially like whether you're new or you're not new, uh, it's just the lowest risk way of scaling up the most, in my opinion. So um, one win, 19.2K, uh, that's that's a fantastic month for a lot of people, right? One win, 19K USD, great month for a lot of people, right? Um, that was just one trade. But remember, we were patient. We didn't get in the trade Thursday. Thursday was no trade, right? Uh, and again, next trade could be a loss. So let's just go ahead and let's continue this and let's go on to uh, the next day, which would be the Monday. And we'll just see if there's another example of a trade. So Monday, 7 a.m., um, 8 a.m. So now here we are Monday. We're going to look at the news again, Monday the 20, uh, 25th. Monday the 25th. Now, personally, I like to wait. Yeah, so there's news at 10 a.m. I like to wait a little a more. I like to be a little more patient on Mondays because usually the first 30 minutes could be some chop. So I'm going to make the rule that my entry can't be until uh, 10, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. candle close. But we're not near any levels. We're actually right in the in the middle of two levels. So this is nothing. We're not going to take this trade because 
we're in between two levels. We, if we wanted to take this trade, we want to see ourselves sell down to about 18,300 and then have a reaction of like a higher low bullish engulfing. Um, or that now that we're trading below this level and we've been trading below, if we did get a push and it's within our time frame, if we got a rejection, then we'd be able to short. So we'll watch out for that. Okay, we're coming up. If we go a little higher and then go lower high. Hmm. So yeah, this um this is a trade. Yeah. So normally I like to wait for more confirmation. I like to see us close below this candle low, but um, if we want to go risky, this is what we would do. And we would have the stop of 40 points away. Yep, 80 point TP. And there we go, see what happens. Boom, stopped out. Now, reason why this one was even riskier than what I just said before is because we didn't really have any significant move down. There was no significant move down. If you look at the last example, we can go back to the last example. The last example right here, there was a significant push up and then we retraced and then had the, the higher low bullish engulfing. Here, there was really no selling. So there was no, there was no sign of us wanting to go lower. This was just sideways consolidation. And this was a lower high bullish engulf, a bearish engulfing because this was the, the high and then this would be off of a lower high, but not enough, not significant enough selling to really be convinced that we are going to go lower. So again, that's on, now that's a loss, and that'd be eight hundred dollars per account. So instead of being up nineteen k, we would be up half of that amount. So you'd be up about ten k. So we'll be up about nine, ten k, um, based on these two trades, and boom, no, no pullback at all. So now we go on to the next day. And we go back to uh, Wednesday, or Tuesday now, Tuesday the 26th. Okay, right here. There is news at 10 a.m., so we're going to wait for a 10 a.m. candle close and see if we're near any of our levels. Okay, so 10 a.m., we're at the support level. There is a low, right? pushed up. We want to see if we get a higher low bullish engulfing right there. So this is where we would long. Oh, there's 10 a.m. news. Never mind. 9.55. There's 10 a.m. news. We have to wait for 10 a.m. news. All right. 10 a.m. news closes bullish. And now this is very risky because it's already moved away. So, you know, the probability of us actually um, not being stopped out is very low. So I would either just allow myself to, to miss this trade or see if it sets up better. So already pulled back. Now, now that it has pulled back, if we get another bullish engulfing here, there, then we are allowed to long this one. And again, 40 point stop, uh, 80 point TP, taking the partial off at uh, 40 points. So we'll just mark out 40 points here first. It looks like a low volatility day. Boom, stopped out. So now we're break even. We've taken one win, two losses break even. See that what goes on there. Now we'll go on to the next day, which is Wednesday. Now on Wednesday, we want to look at the news as well. So if you go over to Wednesday, and you see, okay, no news Wednesday. So we're good if we're near a level. So now we're near uh, resistance level at the 18550. So now if we get a lower high bearish engulfing, we can short it. Okay, so there's a big bearish candle. If we get a retracement up and then another uh, bearish engulfing, then we can short. All right, so we're just dumping pretty aggressively. Um, yeah, that we're allowed to short right there. So basically, we would short this candle close again, why? Because we hit the high significant push down, small retracement, another push down. And uh, 80 points TP 40 points stop. Remember, we are break even. Okay, because we had one win, we had two losses. So now we see, boom, that one went straight away. So we are two wins, two losses. And that was one week, we did one week of trading, basically. So um, one day was no trade. Uh, There's five trading days. So let's go over the stats five trading days. Uh, two wins, two loss, one no trade day. 
Net plus 80 points. Equals plus uh, 1.6k per contract. So most people would trade, let's say one account, one contract, um, that would be 1.6k for the week. If you had 10 accounts, 16k for the week. To recap real quick, all we're doing here is we are we're setting out daily levels, right? Support, resistance, whatever you want to call it, supply, demand. These are just areas that we saw on the chart on the chart where, where price action previously reacted off of. Then we wait for price to get to one of those areas. After that, we want to see confirmation of a significant move away from the level. When it does that, if we're looking for longs, we want to see the significant move away and then a pullback and then a higher low bullish engulfing. On that candle close, you'd long as long as it's within 930 to uh, 12, like before 12 o'clock, you want to stop at 12 o'clock and there's no news coming up. You want to, well, there could be news, but definitely not red news. If there's red news, you're, you're not entering until after. Okay, so that's basically the rules. And, you know, as you can see, one week, two win, two loss. Like I said, it's about 60% win rate. Now, this was about 50% in this week. So if you're looking to become a profitable trader, you want to pass those evals, then um, this is the strategy that you can you can use. And the key is to be patient. You're only allowing yourself to trade what, one trade per day. And you're going to stop if there's no entry. If it's not ideal, you're just going to step aside. And that's going to be the hardest part of the strategy. It's only focused on taking the one trade a day or some days no trade and then walking away. Go ahead. You can backtest this and you'll see. You'll see this This will work, right? So hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate this strategy. Make sure you use it and stick to your rules and your guidelines. Follow your trading plan. That's the only way you're going to be disciplined enough to become a profitable trader in the first place. So do those things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more videos just like this.